In this course, we'll create a time tracker to keep track of the time spent on projects. These projects could be personal projects like your learning you're doing here at Treehouse, business projects that you're getting paid for, or charity projects where you're volunteering your time to build your portfolio. But no matter which type of project you're working on, it can be helpful to keep track of the time you're spending. Let's take a look at the finished application. The home page of our Time Tracker app gives us three options Add Task, Add Project, and View Report. When we click Add Task, we're taken to a form where we must fill out all the required information. The projects are populated in a drop down, and our date field requires a valid date and format. Once our time is added, we're taken to a task list page where we can add a new task, select a task to edit, or delete a task. We can also access this page through the navigation at the top by clicking on Tasks. When we click Projects in the navigation, we're taken to a project list page where we can add a new project, choose a project to edit, or delete a project. When we choose Add Project, we're taken to a project page where we must fill out the required information. Finally, in the navigation we have Reports. This takes us to a page that gives us a report for our time and allows us to choose different filters for the report based on category, project, and date. This is a fairly basic application, and there are many more features that you can add but you can start using it right away to track the time that you're spending learning to program. As you use the application, you'll think of more features that you'd like to have. Adding those features is a great way to learn. To give you a head start, I've provided the shell of the project, including CSS styles and forms. I've also included a SQLite database with all the tables and fields that you'll need, as well as some initial test data. So let's get started connecting all those pieces together.